A moment, please. Sure. I enjoy talking with you. As do I. I owe you so very much, and I do not mean to sound ungrateful, but I fear I am barely holding myself together. It's all right. I'm here for you. Thank you. That means so much. Becoming a synth is just so overwhelming. At first it was a struggle just to master basic functioning. How to brush the teeth, how to operate with only two hands, etc. But now I am full of inconsequential thoughts, feelings. How do you do everything with this whirlwind in the head? I prioritize and tackle what's most important at the time. That's... that's helpful. You make it look so effortless, like breathing. But for me, it is so hard to focus, to do research. And inspiration is as elusive as ever. I fear I will never contribute anything to the world. The world? Not so sure, but you've certainly made a difference to me. More feelings. No words for them. The saving grace in all of this is you. As a robot, I had much appreciation for you. But now, it is deeper. I am still loyal. But now I do this because I want to. Because you are my friend. You're my friend too, Kiri. This tells something in me. I have no idea why. I must cut this short. My eyes, they are malfunctioning. Adieu. <clears throat> we must talk. You are so very, very distracting. You know this, yes? I have time. Let's talk. It is a personal matter. My control of feelings is worse than before. And you, you are no help. <laughs> with your teasing of poor little Curie. But it is not just you. Sometimes a simple compliment, nice hair, and I am flustered, confused. Other times, people suggest the strangest and most lurid things, and I am even more confused. Why do people do this? You're full of life and optimism. People find that attractive. Well, they should keep it to themselves. Oh, I must get a handle on this if I am ever to advance my experiments. <clears throat> I simply must share. I have news. This sounds good. It is much better than that. I beg to become a synth for a reason. For science. To be able to make real progress in studying the medical arts. I have had a breakthrough. Using a new strain of mute fruit, I have discovered a way to greatly improve the restorative properties of steam packs. I realize this is not earth-shaking, but it means that inspiration does exist. I know it wasn't easy, but you did it. I find my head full of notions. Experiments. Many will fail, but maybe I will make more discoveries. And you have given me this capacity. And beyond that, so much more. The world is full of life, possibilities. You are very dear to me, my close friend, and I hope I can return the many favors you have given me. I consider you the same. Good. Very good. Here is a sample of my new steam pack. Now I must share it with the world. Have a minute? Got something on my mind. Of course. Anything you need. Anything I need, huh? I might take you up on that one day. After Tommy stuck me with you, I was expecting to hate your guts. Not only because you agreed to pick up me contract, but because I was waiting for you to order me around like hired help. Now, so far, you've been treating me like a friend. Hell, you've been damn near nice to me. Now, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but your kindness is starting to make me wonder. If there's anything I learned in the combat zone, it was that nobody does things for other people without expecting something in return. Surviving the combat zone must have been rough. That's putting it nicely. I spent three years living at the combat zone. Smelled like puke and piss. But I called it home. I was making a few caps. Had me own bed to sleep in and three hot meals a day. Then the raiders took over the place. You know that lot. They aren't exactly what you'd call the gentle type. After they moved in, 
If you didn't keep looking over your shoulder, you were liable to get sucker punched or robbed. Or worse. Didn't take me long to learn that I had to put my hard-earned caps to good use. Buying friends was essential to making life easy. So, I guess I'm waiting for you to hand me a bill. You know what I mean? You don't owe me a thing. Now I'm having a real hard time believing that. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll think of something I can do to repay you. I'm not a rich girl, but I'm sure we can agree on something. After all, what are friends for? Hey. You got a second? I got something I want to say to you. Of course. What's on your mind? Appreciate it. We've been on the road together for a while. And we've taken some hard knocks. But through all that crap, I notice you've always been sticking by me. You know, watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. It would be nice to know more about you. You're saying that now. But when you hear me story, you might regret it. It all starts with two ways of humanity I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake, because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit, because they never kicked me out. Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. 18 years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. My God, I'm so sorry. Thanks. But there's more to the story. It would be easy to blame me charming personality on me parents, but they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of me goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they used me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. I can't even imagine having to go through something like that. You think that's low? Just wait. The story gets much worse. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. Sounds like justice to me. Was it justice? Or was it murder? When I close me eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You'd think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl. I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate. Stripped bare for your perusal. I'm proud of you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this. But I never expected you to say you were proud of me. I... I, I think I needed to hear that from you. Thank you. Hey, it's okay. We're friends. Look at me. Now you have me blushing. Well... That settles it, I suppose. Friends it is, then. Hope I make you a good one. Otherwise, I'm gonna look right the fool, aren't I? Ahem. Um. I never thought I'd be saying this, but I... Well, I really need your help. Anything you need, Kate. I was hoping you'd say that. We're friends now, which means I can trust you with anything. I'm also hoping it means you've got me back. Because I need it now more than ever. I'm... I'm sick. And I don't think I can hide it from you anymore. Okay, calm down and take a deep breath. If you're sick, I want to help you. Okay, okay. It's like this. Ever since I left home, I've been using Psycho. I don't know why I'm still taking that crap, but I can't stop. And believe me, I've tried. I can't even go a day without it anymore, and I'm fucking sick and tired of it. I've even been doing it behind your back. Sneaking doses when I think you aren't looking. Worst of all, 
It's been making me sick. I've been spitting blood and I don't feel right inside. I need to get this shite out of me system before I wind up dead. Tell me how we can clean you up. Well, there might be a way, but it's not going to be easy. There's supposed to be a vault somewhere out here. A place called Vault 95. I've heard that Vault Tech used it for some kind of social experiment. Stuck a bunch of junkies inside to poke and prod. Well, they supposedly had some special method to clean up those blokes in there. Some kind of a machine or something. If we could get inside, maybe that machine could help me. No problem. We'll get you there. I can't believe how kind you're being to me, even when I'm letting you down. Look, I don't want you to think I'm some kind of low-life junkie. A stupid girl who's harming herself for no good reason. From one friend to another, all I'm asking is for your help. When you're ready, take me out to Vault 95 and help me put an end to me pain. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to be helping Kate out with curing her addiction along with making our way to the glowing sea but before we do let's go ahead and put some levels in also we are at the wrvr broadcast station now i know i said i was going to put the levels into medic but i've actually decided to put it into rad resistance and the reason why is because we're going to need all the radiation resistance we can get for going into the glowing sea now you don't have to do this if you want you can just put some power armor on and that should for the most part keep you from taking rad damage or you can put on a hazmat suit all right let's go ahead and get started put on our combat rifle gonna have a rad scorpion right here pop out easy kill now we're gonna follow this road on down for those of you that are curious on how I am upping the affinity on Nick Valentine Kate Kiri um, yeah that's about uh, all of them is I put them in a pillory and then I plop a bed right next to it and I make dog meat my companion. Let's take these guys out real quick. I make dog meat my companion. And I shoot him until he goes down. And I heal him. And all of those companions like when you heal dog meat. And then I will rest for two hours and do that all over again. Now we want to be really careful because there is a suicider super mutant over here looks like we're gonna have another rad storm here when i was talking to uh kiri and kate i had a rad storm going on which was pretty obnoxious where is that super mutant i'm only worried about the one with the there he is Jesus, they're everywhere, aren't they? You hit like a rat roach. I feel like I'm hitting like a rat roach. You're taking quite a bit of damage. Okay, let's continue on. The Brotherhood of Steel can take care of the rest, maybe. <coughs> Stupid hound. Okay, now the Brotherhood of Steel can take care of the rest. We're going to take a right at this ditch. Follow this very dilapidated road up here. Just follow this on around. 
gonna heal myself again. Think that bloat fly. Nope. Thought he was gonna run away. But I guess not. Up top there is a couple raiders if you want to kill them. Feel free. I'm not even going to bother with them. But you can get up top there from over there. Just circle around and take them out. So right here we discovered the edge of the glowing sea. We're going to hang a left. Go south towards Volt 95. So right over there, if you go up and over, you can go kill those raiders. Let's go ahead and take some Radex. There's usually some Rad Scorpions over here, so be careful for that. Matter of fact, I see it right there. Dug underground before I could shoot it. Finally. Jeez. Turn our pit boy off. We want to be a little sneaky. We're going to come up top of this cliff. We're going to kill that gunner, that gunner, and then take out that assault tron. Anomaly detected. Is that all you've got? Huh? We can turn our pit boy light back on. Oh, that's not bad. Whatever you find, don't forget to share. Area not secure. Repeat. Area not secure. Contact. The most dangerous thing over here is the Assault Tron. They have a laser beam that they shoot out of their face. Be very careful with that. Take this elevator on down. We'll reload our combat rifle. Right over here is some laser trip wires. Take care of these what? traps. Lock and load! I would take care of the yeah, turrets first. Girls, <laughs> rock. Whoa, I don't know what I blew up there, but good thing it wasn't right next to me. We're gonna go to the top here. Come up top. Looks like they had their support meetings in the overseer's office. Sitting around and telling everyone else my problems isn't my idea of fun. Let's go into the overseer terminal. We want to unlock the facility's wing. And then we're going to head down. That was pretty dangerous. 
or ballsy of me to just stand there in that beam. We're going to head left into the residential area. Go ahead and take care of these trip wires. Grab some grenades. I think that's all of them. Yep. guys I love how he's not looking I'm just shooting go ahead and turn this radio off and then we're gonna grab the big guns bobblehead there we go for all of you big guns users users oh my goodness words uh, you're gonna gain a plus 25% critical damage with all your heavy weapons Let's go ahead and go back to the top. Okay, get out of the way. And then we're gonna shoot across over here to help Kate out, help cure her addiction. Now, if you didn't go up to the top and activate the facility wing, you would have to uh, hack the terminal. But we made sure that we didn't have to do that. But if you want to, you can. Keep making our way through here. Take out that last turret. And then we're going to go into the detox facility terminal. We're going to open up the door. Where are you at? Hopefully she did not bug out. Okay. Whew. Scared me there for a second, Kate. Excuse me. The answer to me problems is sitting in that room. But I don't know if I should go through with it. If you don't go in there, you could die. I know. I know. But what if the psycho's the only thing keeping me together? What if this opens me eyes and I don't like what I see? There were reasons I dulled the pain. Things I didn't want to face. Things I was trying to forget. I'd rather be spitting blood than relive in the past. We'll face that pain together. You... you've already done so much, but you keep offering to do more. Well, who the hell am I to look a gift horse in the mouth? I'm gonna sit in the chair. Whenever you're ready, you go ahead and throw the switch. We just have to wait for her to get in the chair and then we can go into the clean room terminal.
Are you all right, Kate? How are you feeling? Strange. I feel really strange. Everything feels different. Everything feels clearer. Colors, sounds, smells. Nothing is like I remember. I, I can't believe it worked. The cravings, the pain, hell, even the rush. They've disappeared. Was I really that far gone? I'm glad you're all right. I was worried about you. Seems you're not the only one. I have a feeling that Tommy had this in mind all along. Clever old bastard kicked me out of the combat zone so I'd clean myself up, and somehow knew you'd be up for the challenge. I guess he saw something in you that I missed. I take care of my friends. I know you do. Look, I'm never gonna forget what you did for me today. You stepped up and helped when everyone else cashed out. I know I suck at thank yous, but that's the best you're gonna get out of me. Now how about we get out of here and leave this place far behind? Let's go ahead and exit out of here. I like to go over to this railing and jump over. Maybe. There we go. Just a faster way of getting out of here. Go ahead and put some more Radex on. We're going to be heading into the Glowing Sea now. We're going to head north for just a second just to get up this incline here. This is the interstate that we passed by earlier where we killed the Rad Scorpion. Now all we're going to do is head west. Just make sure that you're not running through the irradiated water or else you're going to get irradiated pretty badly. As long as you stay out of that, you should be fine. Unless you have power armor, do what you want. Power armor just is amazing when it comes to going through anything. Taking damage, um, resisting rads, all that good stuff. Be careful. There's a lot of high tier or high level whatever you want to call it, enemies over here, even if it's just bugs or ghouls. Got some blood bugs over here. Maybe they'll see us. Maybe they won't. It saw us. I had a feeling it would. Let's continue heading west. Just make sure your compass is directly on west and you should be all right. Something's ghosting us. Damn bloat fly. You know how to show a girl a good time. As long as you see that bunker to the right of you, you're going the right way. Rad storms are pretty common in the glowing sea. It's actually where the rad storms come from. Now right here we see a structure in front of us. That is the cabin that we want to go to. Let's 
take some rat away. It's more rat X just to keep us topped off. What are you fighting now, Kate? Stingwing, I think. So we see a mountain in front of us. We're going to veer off to the left for just a moment. Jesus, everything is attacking us today, isn't it? Just veer off to the left of that mountain. Come up and around. And we will find the cabin. Now there are a bunch of points of interest in the glowing sea. I'm not going to go and find all of them because there's a ton of them. And there's really not that good of loot. But with that being said, let's go ahead and grab the installation K21B key. We need that to be able to get into this bunker. Go ahead and listen to this hollow tape. <clears throat> this is government employee number zero one one. <sighs> Screw this government bullshit. Making me feel like a jilted lover. Sirens, they, they came so fast. And the alarm. The only ones we could save were on duty. Stevens had left to get something out of his car. Stevens. He's gone. We had to close the door before he could even turn around. Protocol said we had to. I could... I could hear him screaming. That was days ago. We're already running out of food. This place was not as well stocked as they claimed. Goddamn budget cuts. If anyone is listening to this, my name is Jeff Bozinski. Tell my wife, Wilma, that I love her. Goodbye. Let's go ahead and activate the circuit breaker. Sensor reading detected. We're going to kill a couple of scents. Appears to be nothing. Perhaps my sensors need calibration. Is someone present? Hello. Hmm. Contact detected. Possibly. Enemy. We being followed. Gone. Mm. <laughs> Upper oh, Lambda 17. On. Eliminating all it? hostiles. Getting stuck behind the power armor, huh? Now this is what I'm talking about. Right over here you can grab some power armor if you want. There's only one piece of X01. So I'm not really worried about Point that. Good on him. If we come over here, we can get ourselves our last U.S. Covert Operations Manual. Bingo. And then we're going to lock, not lock pick, we're going to hack this mainframe terminal. Let's go ahead and go into maintenance operations, initiate system reboot. Hit yes. Now you cannot deactivate the robot sentries, unfortunately, but you can reactivate the emergency elevators. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then take out the Tetrons. Shoot out their power and then right over here is a steamer trunk. We'll loot that. And then we will take the elevator out of here. Going up. 
heal ourselves, take some more Radix. Because this is going to take us straight out into the um, glowing sea. We're going to head straight south now. Hop over this tree. And all we're doing is following this ridge alongside here. Or I heard something. Found you. Take care of the mole rats. Dirty mole rats. More of them. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Good lordy. Okay, now that we're heading south again, we're gonna veer off to the west. So we're heading southwest now. Just keep heading up here. And then hang a left. Come down over here. And this is the crater of Adam. Let's go talk to the leader. Stop right there, stranger. You approach Adam's holy ground. Why? <laughs> I'm here because I need your help. Do you seek division? Have you come to merge with Adam? to be split in his infinite glory or do you seek to tear down his followers i'm looking for someone named virgil virgil yes we know this virgil what do you want with him i just need some information from him i see in truth this virgil has caused some concern some believe his presence is an affront to atom Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors. So before we leave this area, we're going to come to the top here, grab ourselves an astoundingly awesome tails. Excellent. This is going to allow us to do 5% more damage against ghouls. It's always good when we're doing more damage against any enemy. Let's put some more Radex on. Do you have a minute? I think we should talk. I always have time to listen to you, Kate. Good. Because this isn't easy for me to say. And I want to get it right. Where do I begin? Did you know I spent three years fighting at the combat zone? Three years of getting beaten to hell by a bunch of losers and lunatics. After the matches were over, I'd spit out the blood, stitch me wounds, and do a couple of shots of Psycho to keep me going. I fucking hated it. I hated the crowds, I hated the other fighters, and I hated myself. I never understood why I put myself through all that. Until now. It was because I was alone. And I think deep down, I wanted to die. I wanted one of my opponents to crush the life out of me, the easy way out. Well, that's the past. You're not alone anymore. Then maybe you know what I'm trying to say to you. My life's been nothing but one huge failure after another. You've heard all my stories, and you know the prices I've paid. There were a few times when things got really bad that I... 
I found myself staring down the barrel of my own shotgun. I don't know why I didn't pull the trigger. I guess I was praying that I could find a single decent scrap of humanity in this fucked up world. And then, what you did for me back there at Fault 95, it was like the answer to those prayers. That's the first time in me life I fully depended on someone else and they didn't let me down. God damn it, I'm making a mess of this. It's all right, Kate. Let it all out. I'll be fine. I just need to be getting to the point. The longer we've been spending time together, the more I'm beginning to realize what you mean to me. And I'm not just talking about you watching me back or sharing a drink together. I mean more than that. Before we met, I'd never let me guard down around anyone. I didn't dare. But with you, I feel like I can let you in and see me for everything that I am. For better or for worse. Look, I can't go back to the way things were before we met. I won't. But what I need you to do is look me in the eyes and tell me you feel something too. I consider us the best of friends, Kate. I wouldn't have it any other way. God damn, it feels good to hear you say that. Well... I guess that's all I had to say for now. Thanks for listening to me nonsense. Feels comforting to have someone like you to talk to. And don't worry. From now on, things only get better from here. I'll still keep the bullets off of you. And drink your sorry arse under the table. What are friends for, eh? So maxing out Kate's affinity, we get Trigger Rush. Trigger Rush really isn't that good, and I'll show you why in here, here in just a second. We'll go into our pit boy. By the way, that was very awkward um, positioning or camera, whatever. Here's trigger rush. So action points regenerate faster if your health is below 25%. Ugh, my health is very rarely below 25%. So maybe you have better luck with this perk. I don't know. I don't find it very useful. But yeah, definitely an awkward view there for a minute. The world will see Adam's glory again. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves. And then we're going to head south east here. Out of the crater. And then head south. Again, we're trying to follow this ridge along as much as we can. There's a rad scorpion. Damn. Now the death skull rad scorpions are extremely dangerous. So be very, very careful. Matter of fact, let's go in here, go to data, and we're gonna go to the glowing sea. Ammo caps, whatever you find. Just to turn that on for everybody. Jesus, another rad scorpion? Didn't you just see what I did to your friend? And another one? Holy moly, how many are there? Over here. Kate, you got that handled? Does not look like it. Do I? <laughs> I guess so. Just keep heading southwest. We're almost to Virgil. Hold up. You hear that? <coughs> Everything well, is coming to kill me right now. ourselves and then we'll come down right over here and then we'll hang a right 
Be careful, we're gonna have a death claw as well. Don't step in that uh, radiated puddle. But there will be a death claw right over here. Go inside Rocky Cave. Let's go into our Pip Boy real quick. Put a level in. We're gonna put it into strength. Now let's go talk to Virgil. Hold it. Take it nice and slow. No sudden moves. I know you're from the Institute, so where's Kellogg, huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. Take it easy. Kellogg's dead. Dead? He's dead. Don't you lie to me. I'm not lying. I killed him myself. Did you? Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape? But how? No. It doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me. Why are you even here? What do you want? Relax. I just need to know how to get in there. Wait, what? Are you serious? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? I'm trying to find my son. The Institute kidnapped him. Oh. Oh no. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Yeah. The Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help. But I'm going to need something in return. You help me, and I'll help you. All right. If I help you, you're going to do something for me. Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum to reverse this mutation. It could return me to normal. You understand? So if you get in there, I need you to find it in my old office and bring it to me. I think that's pretty reasonable in exchange for helping you. All right? Let's talk details. First things first. You know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? No, never heard of him. Another secret of the Institute. Trust me, it's good that you haven't found out the hard way. Coursers are Institute synths, designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well... I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. 
It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You're going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Okay, let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that pip boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to not get killed. Not gonna lie, the odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. We're gonna come over here, grab ourselves a Tesla Science Magazine. Yes. Reading that now. Really? Let's go ahead and put some Radex on real quick. We have one more stop before we end the video. We're going to head straight east until we see a pyramid structure on our compass. We're going to run into another death claw here in just a second. Right here. Getting close to our destination. Just watching to make sure that we're not running into any enemies. So right here is the Sentinel site. This is where the U.S. government was testing and holding nuclear weapons. Maybe they weren't testing them, but it definitely was uh, storing nuclear weapons here. Let's go ahead and go inside. We're just going to come down over here and grab a magazine real quick, and then we're gonna head right out. Now, if you're helping the Brotherhood of Steel, you'll come back to the Sentinel site. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not, but we're gonna grab this astoundingly awesome Tails. Yes. We're gonna gain five radiation resistance, so that's always good. Resistance to anything is always good. Let's go ahead and exit out of here, and we're going to go to the Cambridge Polymer Labs, and that's where we're going to end the video for the day. I've never seen anything like that before. I'm going to zoom out. 
Cambridge Polymer Labs is right over here. Alrighty, everyone, this is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody. Have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.